Hey booktube, it's Jackie, welcome back. If you're new to me, hi, my name is Jackie. I sit on my floor and I talk about books. So I really hope it's why you're here because that's what's gonna happen. If you're not new to me, welcome back. I'm glad to have you and I am so happy for the continued support. And today's video is one of my favorites to film. I love these videos, I love watching them, I love building them, I love developing them. And usually I like filming them, but this is like the 13th time I've tried to film this video because my camera cut off at the middle of the first attempt and then I just keep butchering the openings over and over again. So fingers crossed we go through it this time. <laughs> but this is my March TBR. Now my March TBR, what you're about to see is not what it originally looked like. <laughs> because on February 27th, I was perusing YouTube and came across a channel entitled Bookish Buddies. And I said, I haven't seen this, well, this girl before. So I clicked on her, on her video and lo and behold, it was an announcement video for a godlike readathon. So godlike that it is called the Greek Godathon. And when I listened to her explain how this readathon broke down, all the rules, all the prompts, all the ins and outs and innuendo and the stealing and the teams and the point systems, I was hooked. And that TBR I created just went out the window and I sat down and had to create a brand new TBR for this because there was no way in hell I was not participating in this challenge. I signed up and I got in and I am super stoked to take part in this readathon. It is a, a month long readathon. So it goes from March 1st all the way to March 31st, which I love because I feel less stress because I have the whole month, but at the same time, it is just enough books that it's going to be challenging and pushing. And I am really going to get some stuff accomplished with this. Now, I will link the announcement video down below so you can go and watch that. And it, she breaks down the point systems, the teams, the prompts, the stealing, the special abilities um, much better than I'm going to. I am just going to give you a quick rundown of what you need to know to understand why I chose the TBR that I chose. So there are two teams. There's Team Chaos and Team Control. I signed up for Team Chaos. Once you sign up for a team, you pick a god that you are loyal to. The gods that are included on Team Chaos are Aphrodite, Ares, Artemis, Hades, Hephaestus, Poseidon, and Zeus. I chose loyalty to Hades. Now, there are prompts for each individual god, but the god that you choose loyalty to, you get 10 points for that book, five for all the other subsequent gods within your team. If you choose a prompt from the other team, over and above what your other what your team's prompts are, you get three points. So I developed a TBR around my team, but there is this over arc, overarching rule that you can double up on prompts. So I chose books that I could double up the other team's prompts so I could get the extra three point value. So most of these books are gonna be worth actual eight points for me. And my Hades book will be worth a grand total of 16. And I say 16 because Hades has this unique ability that he can take one book and I can triple up a prompt on so I can get three point values on this book. So I'm super stoked about this. Really, really pumped. So let's get into it. And as we go through, I will let you know what prompt the book is fulfilling. Also, which God, along with which challenge it is fulfilling because I'm still participating in my buzzword challenge my classics challenge and my TBR jar challenge. If you're not familiar with any one of those, the TBR jar challenge is I choose a prompt out of this little poisoned apple cup over here and I have to find a book that completes it. It's just my own personal challenge. I tried it once before and I was a total fail and I wanna give it another shot. The classics challenge is simply to read a classic book a month because I got these really pretty cloth, penguin cloth bound classic editions. So I really like to actually read them than just have them on my shelf for aesthetic purposes. And the buzzword challenge, I will link that announcement video down below. Buzzword challenge is hosted by Books and Lala. And what she essentially did is came up with a buzzword or a grouping of words for each month. And you were designed to design your TBR around it or pick one book based off it. I chose one book. 
um, and I have a video giving you all the options that I have to choose from for the entirety of the year and I will link that down below as well. So let's get started. The first book that I am going to be talking about is not actually affecting the readathon at all because it's a carryover from February and that is Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. This was my classics challenge for February and I did not complete it. I only got maybe a hundred pages in and so I didn't feel like I was close enough to the start of the book to actually include it in the readathon point systems but at the same time I wasn't far enough into the book to confirm that it would have been complete by the end of the 20th because obviously it's not because I still haven't completed it yet and it's right here. Um, this is a reread for me. I originally read this the first time when I was a senior in high school and um, in high school I remember loving this book. I remember being obsessed with it and writing so many papers and AP English on it and just thinking this was like the ultimate love story and 16, 17 years later I I'm really, really thinking about my mental state as a senior in high school if I thought this was romance. I'm really concerned for 18 year old Jackie because these are horrible people. Horrible people. Um, I am not done with it. So maybe there are gonna be some redeeming qualities later. I don't remember all the events in the book from when I was in high school. I just remember the feeling that I had and yeah. So um, hopefully it starts to pick up, but I'm, I've got maybe 130, maybe 150 pages max left in it. And so far, this is the only reread that I've had this year that is not living up to its original reputation with me. But fingers crossed it will turn around and then I'll be like, oh, this is the love story that I remember. Yes, I'm not completely insane. Um, but right now they're just really toxic people. Really toxic. Like it's bad. Um, the story's good. The people just suck. So... Yeah. So moving on. <laughs> this next book is um, this first omnibus by Gotrick and Felix. Now this is the sixth omnibus. I ordered the first one. It will be here on Friday. This book is my deterrent challenge where I had to read a book that my husband owns because I did not complete my physical TBR that I set for myself in February. So I had to draw out of his jar right here. And I chose this book because, yes, it's supposed to be a book my husband owns. My husband owns three, four, five, and six of the of this series because he started the series reading book four. You can read these books individually on their own or you can read them in the series. And yes, you can do that, but my OCD, whatever it is about me, I can't do that. So, um... Technically, no, we don't own the first omnibus, but it's my challenge. It's my jar. I'm gonna make a count, but I just wanted to hold this up because most of the covers look really similar to begin with. And this book clocks in at 786 pages and will be fulfilling the prompt in my readathon of Artemis. And her prompt was The Hunt, a highly anticipated book. I am not highly anticipating this book. My husband, however, is really, really, really excited about me reading this book. Um, when I called and told him that this was the prompt that I drew, he started laughing at me because he knew right off the bat that this was the book that I had to read because he doesn't own many books. I own all the books. So um, it was either this or the Necromomic Necromomicon. I can't say that. Necronomicon. And I just wasn't going to do that to myself. No, not yet. So... I will be starting the Warhammer Chronicles Godric and Felix series with the first omnibus during the Greek Godathon. So, fingers crossed. There we go. All right. The next book I have 
and these are in no particular order, is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. This obviously is my classic book for the month of March. And this is fulfilling the prompt of Aphrodite. Um, hers was true romance, so a love story. I'm gonna be honest, this is not the book I wanted to use for this prompt, but I needed to keep get a classic on here. So I went through all the classics that I have of these Penguin Cloth bound ones that I own, and this was the only one that kind of stood out to me because it is the shortest. <laughs> and that will make sense when you see the rest of these books. So I wasn't the biggest fan of Persuasion when I read it in January, but like I said in that video, it's freaking Jane Austen. Like, my review and my my little three that I gave her isn't going to matter. And I also listened to Persuasion on Audible, and I believe that that was a huge mistake. Huge mistake. So um, I will be physically reading this copy, just like I am reading the Wuthering Heights one. And I'm hoping that Jane Austen will resonate with me, maybe in this book, maybe Persuasion just wasn't for me. You know, that, that happens. Not every book an author writes is going to be a hit with everybody. So um, let's hope that this works. I'm hoping. So <laughs> this is my classic challenge. Yay. The next book on my list is completing my prompt for Zeus, which is a lightning fast, lightning strikes, and you had to read a cover by. So I chose Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. This is the first in a trilogy. Um, I believe it's I, I believe it is YA. It is there are saints and sinners. There's magic. There's a war. The dichotomy of good and evil. It just sounds like a big good old fun time and a lot of stuff that makes Jackie very happy. And I love this cover. Um, this is what drew me to it first. I bought this pretty much based off the cover and then. Also the title, I just thought the title was super cool. Like this is a kick-ass title. It really is. Um, so I'm pretty pumped about it. And also bonus points, this book is on my want to read in 22 TBR, which I will link that video down below as well. So really, really excited about this one coming up. I'm hoping that I love it and I can marathon the series. The next book I have is A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. This is fulfilling Poseidon's Prompt, a book that has an oceanic element on it. There is a river, ocean, what do you want to call it, on the cover. This was my book of the month pick last month. I don't know much about it based off except what was on the inside of the cover jacket. When I originally looked at it, cover based off first impression on the cover alone, it was an Odyssey retelling. After reading the cover jacket, I don't think it's an Odyssey retelling anymore. Um, it is, you know, enemies that have to be forced to work together to solve this problem. And then there's another element that comes in and kind of Fs up that whole plan. So kind of, I don't know if there'll be a romance in it, but there's like enemies to lovers or enemies to friends trope, plus, you know, baddies and war and, mystery and it, it sounds like a really good time and I was pleasantly surprised when I was watching all the March TBRs which is what I do I watch all the TBR videos that I can of all my favorite booktubers that one of my favorite booktubers is actually reading this book too as well this month and that is Reagan at Peru's books I have been a huge fan of her for a long time and she's actually reading the, possibly reading this book this month it was on her TBR video so I will love I would love if we were reading the book in the same month and I would love to hear her opinions because I'm a big fan of her I love her stuff and she p chooses really really good books so if she thinks she's gonna like it um I'm pretty sure that I will like it too because I have a lot of similar taste I have a lot of similar taste as she does so yes Poseidon's River Enchanted yay the Next book that I have, and this will be meeting the prompt for Ares, God of War. So it has to be Words of War, a book that features war. Um, there was a lot of books I could have put for this prompt. And I kept looking at my shelves and my eyes kept coming to this same book. I was not getting away from it. And I tried very hard not to put it on here. And I was just like, 
nope, it's gotta happen. It's gonna happen. So here it is. I finally put it on my TBR, Malice by John Gwynn. This is the first in the Faithful and the Fallen series. And I have heard so many good things about this book. I have never heard anything negative about this author, about any of his work. And I've had this book on my shelf for years because I strictly bought it based off of the cover because this is a perfect cover in my opinion. I love everything about it. It's stunning and all the entire series is like this. So I'm really excited about it and I'm also terrified <laughs> because this thing is huge. This guy is 628 pages. So not as much as the first omnibus, but it's still up there in page count. And it's just, it's been on my shelf for so long. And I'm just, but it eventually had to happen. Eventually had to happen. But another bonus point is that this is also appears on the TBR for my 2022 TBR. So that is a second book off of that list that is making it into this month's TBR. So I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, and I just really hope I read it and I hope I love it because if I don't love it, I'm gonna be pissed off because I have the whole series because I bought them for the covers and that irritates the crap out of me when I love the aesthetic of the book, but the book itself sucks. It just annoys me. And two, I want to know what the big hype is and I think I'm ready for it. I hope I am. I hope. So wish me luck, guys. The next book I have is Diana Gabaldon's Dragonfly and Amber. And this is fulfilling the Hephaestus prompt of forging ahead. You have to read a sequel. I did not get to this one in February. This is actually why I had to draw the, de the um, deterrent jar. But I want to reread this series. This is my favorite series. And... I I want to reread it because I want to read the new book at the end of the year and Outlander was amazing. Of course it's amazing. Season six is coming out this month of Outlander. I have still yet to watch the show. I think I'm just going to wait till the whole show's off the air before because then I can just sit there and rapid fire marathon it. I think it's probably what I'm going to end up doing. But I'm super, super pumped about this and I know I'm going to get to it this month because last month I did all the emotional prep work for this book. I know this book is going to destroy me and rip my heart out and stomp on it. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready because I did all that build up and I was prepped for it. And I just didn't get to it because last month I took place, took um, part in a readathon and I just wasn't prepared to do that, which is why I'm really excited. This marathon is a whole month long. So Diana Gabaldon's Dragonfly and Amber is my sequel. This is Hephaestus book. And, uh, here it goes. I'm ready. I'm ready, Jamie. I'm ready for you to destroy me, rip my heart out. No, I'm not. I'm not ready. But I'm going to do it anyway, because this book is awesome. All right. And the next book I have, which will complete my team's prompts, is this guy. This is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. And this is fulfilling my Hades prompt. So I will get 10 points for this book and I am dueling it over onto team um, controls gods and goddesses so I can get multiple points for this book. But this one is primarily for Hades, obviously has to deal with an undead being, vampires are undead. I bought this book and I knew I would love this book because it's war, it's vampires. Vampires are my favorite mythical undead creatures. I just think they're awesome. Um, you know, I used to rag on Twilight because they sparkle. I don't even care. They're still vampires, so I'm cool with it. Um, but I know this is not Twilight. I know this is not Anita Blake. Um, I know this is not Anne Rice. This is Jay Kristoff's take on vampires, and I'm super, super pumped about this. I reread the synopsis and I'm just like, this is something I'm going to love. I know it is. And this edition is just stunning. It is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. So it has the interior cover art. Let me look at that. Isn't that just, oh, this is book porn. 
swear to God, this is what book porn is. But I'm super, super excited about this book. This guy, though, is a chunker as well, coming in at 734. Yeah, 734 pages. So it is another big in, but I don't care. I'm excited. I'm ready. Um, and it also appears on my want to read in 2022. So that is three books from that TBR that have made it onto this one. So I am super pumped. If those are the only three books I get to, you know, I'm still in my mind winning because I'm crossing over. I'm dueling. I'm knocking off my goals. I'm getting it. So I'm super, super excited. And I just, I'm really excited about this because this is the start of a high, dark fantasy series, vampires, war. I can only imagine what's going to happen. And if you go to Goodreads and read Jade Kristoff's like review of this book, you will want to read this book too. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You will want to read it just based off of that. So go read that. Seriously, it's amazing. So I'm really, really pumped. And also this will be my first Jay Kristoff book. I did not read the Nevernight Chronicles. Um, I'm still thinking about possibly picking them up, but this is gonna be my first foyer to Jay Kristoff. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm so pumped. Yeah. When I picked Hades, I found it as prompt. This was the only book I wanted. Only one. And I tried to find others because it's so big and they had all these big books on it. And I was like, nope, I'm just going to go all in. We're going all in, boys and girls. All in. The next book, yeah, there's still more. <laughs> the next book, this does not meet any challenge or any prompts in the readathon. This is my buzzword challenge book and that is Mary Queen of Scotland and the Isles. The buzzword for this month is a location and so Scotland is the location. This is by Margaret George and I've had this book for quite a while. She's a historical fiction author and my sister turned me on to her years ago and I'm kind of excited about this. Kind of not because this is the biggest book on this list at 866 pages. So yeah, it's, it's up there. So I don't know, and I've never read any Margaret George, so I don't know how fast it's going to read and, you know, just how in depth historically she is going to be. So I'm a little scared and intimidated, but at the same time, I'm glad that I'm finally hitting this book because I do have quite a few of Margaret George's books and I would really like to enjoy them and, you know, actually read them and know what the hell they're talking about. So, yep. Mary, Queen of Scotland and the Isles. There we go. And the last book, if I can get to it, this will go towards the team controls point values. Um, Dionysus appears on team control and he's also my like second favorite God because he's the party God and he's just like, let's drink wine and have a good time. Yay. And his prompt was guilty pleasure. And last month I read Ice Planet Barbarians and my book club just loved it. One of the girls went on and read up to book seven and the other one read up to like book four. I only read the first one. So I'm like, I feel like I'm going to have to read this series again anyway. So um, I'm picking Barbarian Alien which by Ruby Dixon, which is the sequel to Ice Planet Barbarians for Dionysus prompt. If I do not get to this one, I am not going to be drawing from the detergent for the detergent <laughs> from the um, deterrent jar because this is simply because I know eventually I'm going to have to read this and I'll probably have to read this for my next book club for all I know. I don't even know. Um, so I'm putting it on there. But if I don't get to it, I don't get to it. I'm not going to be heartbroken. It's just extra points for my team because go Team Chaos. Yeah, Team Chaos. So. And the only book I do not have is my book cub book of the month because I have not met with them yet. I will meet them on Friday and that's when we will decide our book for March. So you'll have a mystery book in this TBR. But let's look at what this TBR looks like. So let's see if I can actually do this because I'm pretty sure this thing is massive. Hmm. Oh look, it's still going and it's still going and it's still going. So, 
Here you go. Where's my little guy? Oh. Yeah, this is so. Okay, <laughs> this is my TBR for the month of March. Do you see why I said this is intimidating, insane, and crazy, and daunting all in one breath? Because it's massive. I'm so scared. But I have a feeling I'm going to like every single one of these books. So, wish me luck. <laughs> oh my god, this is huge. Oh, and um, my... TBR jar challenge, which I did not tell you, was to start a series. I've been re read the first book in a series that I've been wanting to start. So this is a series, but it's the only one out, so I'm not counting it. This is a series I've wanted to start, and this is a series I've wanted to start. So my TBR jar challenge will be either one of these books. I will hope to get to both of them, but if I only get to one of them, then that's the one that will fall for my TBR jar challenge in my little records keeping. So that is my TBR, ladies and gentlemen, for March. Greek Godathon. It's what did it. It's what did it. And hopefully it won't be the end of me. So that was a long ass video. Um, sorry to become a thing with me. But I'm going to let you guys go. You have a great time. Stay safe. I hope you um, are participating in the Greek Godathon. If you are, leave a little like lightning bolt emoji or, you know, something just a thumbs up or something. Let me know that you guys are partaking with me and what team you're on so I can know if you're an ally or or not. And uh, go Team Chaos. Woo! Bye, guys.